fashion is a way to live, and express in today's world. Bright colors are a vital part of designed clothing. A Indian mill that produced 6,104 meters of fabric discharges about 1.5 million liters of dye containing effluent without properly treating it, and released to natural water bodies. Several azo dyes and its constitutes have proved to be mutagenic and carcinogenic to aquatic animals and humans. Thus the effluent must be treated before final discharge to overcome the legal and aesthetic standards. Bioremediation of dye effluent is meritorious as it is low cost, less maintenance and eco-friendliness with comparison to other traditional methods. Selecting a suitable reactor is important in enhancing the economy and efficiency of the dye bioremediation process. Since 1990s, Numerous research studies have been conducted on anaerobic, aerobic as well as combined, integrated slash sequential, bioreactor treatment of azo dye containing effluent. Therefore, the wastewater from these industries contain numerous constituents such as dyes and other chemicals which are often directly released into environment. Currently more than 10,000 different textile dyes are available commercially in the world market azo. Anthraquinones and indigoid are amongst the major chromophores used in textile industries, azo dyes being the largest class with a calculated share of about 70%. A large proportion of dyes that lost during textile dyeing, could remain undegraded in the environment. This partially treated dye effluent in effluent treatment plants which are toxic to biological activities in the surface water bodies. Bioremediation is recognized as a substitute to expensive technologies for the treatment of dye containing waste water because it is so cost effective, environmentally kind and higher efficiency for a broad spectrum of azo dyes. Different microorganisms, such as bacteria, filamentous fungi actinomycetes, yeasts, algae and plants, are capable of decolorizing dyes via liberalization, biotransformation or mineralization, biodegradation and their effectiveness varies with adaptability, survival and activity of selected organism and oxidation potential of the azo dye. Microbial treatments can be performed either aerobically. Both the processes have less operational costs as compared to the chemical and slash or physical treatments, which just tend to concentrate pollutants rather than degrading them. Most importantly biological processes cause less harm, risks. However, the selection of the most adapted microorganisms for a treatment process is a relentless task. Please do like share and subscribe for our upcoming videos.